Hello everyone, welcome to Analog, a hate story. This game is by Christine Love, and I've previously played another game of hers called Digital, a love story, and it was exceptional, so I'm really excited for this. Alright, so here's the plot. Back in the 25th century, Earth launched a generation ship into deep space with the goal of establishing the first interstellar colony. It dropped out of contact and disappeared, never reaching its destination. Thousands of years later, it has finally been found. Okay, and this is the intro that you're looking at right here, which is the first thing that pops up when you start the game. Also keep in mind that I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing the names in this game, so please excuse that, I'm going to do my best. And if I can't pronounce it exactly what it looks like, then I'll just come up with my own pronunciations. But I'll do my best. Okay, so let's go. Hey, guess what? I've got a job that you're going to love. Nice and easy, this is strictly a salvage mission. No crazy shit, I promise. One of those old pre-FTL generation ships from the 2000s, the Mungungwa, however the hell you pronounce that, just popped up my radar. Its disappearance was apparently some big unsolved mystery, never made it to its destination, I guess. It's just drifting lifelessly in orbit of Antares B, or Antares B. I'll send you the exact coordinates, it's pretty hard to get a visual on, probably why nobody's found it before. The sponsor for this one is a historical society from the Outer Colonies. Here's what the objective card says. Download any log files you can, especially any that can explain what happened to the ship. If possible, speak to the security AI, Mute, for assistance. It's a good easy gig and I want you to take this one. It should be asocial enough for you. I don't want to hear any complaints. Dispatch control out. Okay, here we go. Connecting. Connection established. Override terminal. Restricted mode. Okay, so what the hell is this? Um, Starship... Mung Let me try and pronounce that. Magungwa? Magunghua? Magunghua? Well, that is not comfortable to say. Magungwa? Something like that. Anyway, so apparently I am now on the ship, and this is a computer on the ship. The Starship Magungwa. Notice, this system is property of the Unified Korea Space Probe Agency, accessed by individuals not affiliated with the UKSPA, or a successor organization is a felony under the UKSPA Act of 2381. Last login, user Kim Hyun A. To, oh my god, look at that. Two, hold on, thousand, twenty thousand, two hundred 221,432 days ago. Oh my god. This has been lost for a while. Error. AI personality currently disabled. Reverting to command line. Available commands. Download, disable AI, enable AI, help, SU, and quit. Okay. Help. Alright, that just tells me the commands. Um. Well, it's, um... It's throwing up an error because the AI personality is currently disabled, so let's enable AI. Use to select a new AI personality. Any active personality must be disabled first. Currently available personalities. Hyun A. Okay, so enable AI. Hyun A. Success! Personality Hyun A is now activated. You may now close this terminal with quit. And that's... Hyun A, or hello? Oh my word, an external connection? Is someone out there? It's been so many years since I've spoken to anyone. Oh jeez, I'm being discourteous. My apologies. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hyun A. The star is, of course, silent. It just represents that I'm an AI. Okay, so stars represent artificial intelligence. Got it. I control all the log-keeping systems on the Mung... How did I pronounce that? Mungungwa? Mungungwa? Or at least, what's left of them. Please, just excuse me for one second. I'll give you a terminal so you can respond. There you are. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hello, my name... is Marshall. Oh dear. Sorry, uh... 
Can you try that again? Sure. Hello, my name is Marshall. Ah, oh, jeez, my apologies. I don't know why, but what you typed just looked like garbage to me. That's bad. I think there may be a problem with my language parsing systems. Ugh. Sorry. Somehow your input is getting mangled between the terminal and me. I'm so terribly sorry. Let me just try something. Can you understand this? <laughs> what if what if I messed with her and just said no? I'm curious, but I'm not going to do it. Can you understand this? Yes. All right. Can you just click again to confirm that you can understand what I'm saying to you? I do understand. Very well, we have that at least. I'm afraid if we can't get text input fixed, that'll have to suffice. I'm terribly sorry, it must be difficult being unable to say anything. It is. It is very difficult. This might be difficult then, well, nevertheless, as the archive system AI, I'll do my best to try to help you navigate these records anyway. So, so I have to navigate the records using a yes and no system, or or what? Unfortunately, it might be a little difficult since, well, without language parsing, you won't be able to do text, text searches either. Yeah. Don't worry, though. It's my duty to provide assistance with archival functions. I'll do my best. Right. Let me see. I'll try to provide you with a sampling of logs to start out with, and you can just show me things that you want more information on. I uh, hope that's acceptable to you. That's all I can do. Well, that's all, I suppose. Pardon me, let me just build you an interface to work with so you don't have to struggle with the terminal. Very well, it's all set. And uh, I suppose this is a little bit awkward, but can I, can I just say one more thing before you get to work? Sure. I'm just very happy to be working with you. I've had nobody to talk to for such a long time. It got so lonely. Having someone to talk to is just really, really amazing. I thought maybe I would never again... Sorry about the communication barrier, but even still. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm babbling. I won't hold you up any longer. Here's your interface. I hope it's good enough. Okay. No messages have been read. What is this? Whatever that is, it has no tooltip. Unread messages. What the <laughs> What is this? A pack of idiots? So, wait, are these messages to me? Hmm. Use override terminal, access log documents, speak. Well, let's read the unread messages. A uh, pack of idiots. Smith Kyung Sam. Interesting interface. Gonna have to get used to this, but this is pretty. Whoa, what is this? Kim Family Tree. Pronounce. Wait! Is it gonna tell me how to pronounce the people's names? Oh my god. Some very simplified rules to help you pronounce Korean names. Oh my god, thank you. Most consonants... Oh god. I, I, we'll see if I can actually understand this. Most consonants are pronounced as in English, except for the following when they're at the beginning of words. Family names are written in their traditional English spellings. Spellings. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to remember any of this. A... May A, so A E is A, so Hyun A, so it's Hyun A. May A, yeah, okay. So I did pronounce that right, Hyun A. Um, except the following when they're at the be when they're at the beginning of words. So only when they're at the beginning. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not gonna to get bogged down in that. Okay. Block four. I don't know what that is. Anyway, a pack of idiots. Smith Kyung Sam. Uh, 918, year 315. When our family falls into decline, I just want it to be perfectly clear why. It's because... <laughs> Dai... I almost want to use the pronunciation guide for everything. It would take me forever if I did that, though. Let me indulge my curiosity just, just, just right now. 
Dai Hyun. Dai, is there anything there for that? Wait. Wait, what does that mean? D or T at the start? Wait, what do you mean or T? How do I know which one it is? D or T? So this could be Dai Hyun or it could be Tai Hyun? Uh, I'm just gonna go with what it looks like. Okay. Back to the game. I just want to be perfectly clear why. It's because Dai Hyun's sons are the biggest collection of idiots on the entire ship. Father says these sorts of words should be written down, calling them un... what the hell? Unfilial? I don't even know what that word means. But I'm skeptical. I intend no disrespect to my noble ancestors, but my dead uncle is no ancestor of mine, and his family deserves no respect. This has been in motion for years now. It was an inevitability, even, that any sons of Jai Hyun would turn out the way they did. But up until now, to anyone outside of the family, it's been well hidden. Only now is it starting to fall apart in a way that no amount of good politics can disguise. The turning point was this year. At the time I write this, I am returning from Seng Jung... Ah, oh, fuck. Seng... Why do I get the feeling it's not pronounced with a J? Hold on, hold on, hold on. J. J. Or Ch. What does that mean? Why does it say J or Ch? Like what, just pick whichever one I like? I don't know what that means. Ch. Ch. So it can be Ch. Sang Chung? Sang Jung? Sang Ch. Chung? Chung sounds better. Anyway... The turning point was this year. At the time I write this, I'm returning from Sang Chung's funeral. In that family, there were three brothers. Sang Chung, the drunk. Sang Kyu, the dim-witted brute. And Sang Min, who, despite being the eldest, seems to have more interest in cavorting with courtesans than creating an heir. Noticeably absent from the morning proceedings was Sang Kyu. What he was doing, I do not know. Knowing him, I can only guess. The affair was made even more laughable by Sang Min and his widowed mother's insistence that Sang Jung had died of natural causes. Apparently, they had even found a doctor willing to put such nonsense on the official record. An unmarried noble managing to drink his way into the grave at only 30 years of age would be embarrassing enough. To brazenly try to hide the obvious, however, that will mark the beginning of the Smith, the Smith family's fall. Okay. I am going to have a lot of names to remember. A lot. What is, why is this flashing? Hmm. Oh, can I... Oh, I can scroll through the pages with my middle mouse button. Cool. That's nice. Although it doesn't seem to work every time I move the mouse. That's weird. Okay. Well, first note down, and I didn't totally butcher the pronunciation. I actually feel kind of good about that. Wow. Alright, what is this? Why is this flashing? Oh, hi. Oh, um, hello. <laughs> actually, I was just testing that indicator icon to see if it'd get your attention. Well, it did. I just thought uh, it'd, be a good way to let it'd be a good way of letting you know when I have something to say. I mean, like, if I think it's super important, I can always just interrupt you, but uh, I don't want to distract you if I can help it. I mean, that suck, right? What kind of computer program forces itself onto you right in the middle of you trying to work? Uh, I'll try not to do that. Anyway, that's all. I guess it worked. Carry on, and I'll set the indicator again if I want to tell you something. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Okay, so there's no tooltips for these things, unfortunately. That's power off, that's settings, I guess. Um, what, what is this? Block four. What the hell is this? I have no idea what this is. Um, block index. Document ID and press enter to search. Uh, no. How about no? Back to my messages, unread messages. Right, so that's the recently read, and this is unread. Okay. Dear Smith. Is, is that... 
Is that from mute? Or why does it say mute? Dear Smith, that's the title, right? So that must be who it's from, and that's who it's to? Okay, yeah. Smith Kyung Sam, I don't know why you insist on putting this all in writing, when we could just have a perfectly good conversation. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy to do it. Whatever you want, you're the man. I just think it's a little weird. I don't really get it. Anyway, as to your question, you're spot on about the Pale Bride being the focus of attention in the royal family. Not for the reasons you wanted, though. I don't know where you heard those rumors, but they are so, so not true. That girl? A troublemaker? No way. I don't see it. Like, it's not even con convincing as a rumor. That girl is the most polite, most obedient, obedient person I've ever seen in my entire life. The idea of her fighting with her husband is completely unimaginable. In over a month, I've never so much as heard her raise her voice in disagreement. She's quiet, courteous, and does everything she's told without even the slightest hesitation. I'm sorry, but there's just no way you could possibly exploit any drama here. This is as undramatic a situation as it gets, especially not compared to what the situation with your cousin and that courtesan. Don't get me wrong. She bugs the hell out of me. The girl is just too perfect. She's young, she's beautiful, she's demure to the point where I don't even think she has a personality of her own, but she also gets along perfectly with the queen. Of course, she commands all the attention of the Emperor. Like, can you blame him? I'm sorry, but there's no way he's ever going to be anything but extremely grateful to the Kim family for giving her over. Wait. Extremely grateful to the Kim family for giving her over. She was given over? Like, property? Hmm. Okay, so how do I just go to the messages? Like, if I press home, does it go back to the message screen? It does, okay. Alright, the new error. From Kim Young... <laughs> Fuck. Kim Young's... Soak? S Soak? I, I don't know. Pronunciation guide to the rescue, maybe. Young? That's gotta be Young. I I don't think it's Young. Young Soak. S E S E. Um. I don't see an S E here. Soak. S E O K. Mm, I don't see anything here about that. Okay. I'm gonna go with Kim Young Soak. Kim Young Soak. The new heir. When he died this year, my father was an absolute nobody. I don't say this to disrespect his honor, it's the complete opposite. He knew it, and that was a far worse fate than he ever deserved. It wasn't until I was maybe 16 that I even realized we were supposed to be from a noble family. Certainly we never had much of means. Father was a minor official in the interior decks and spent his last days dealing with minor peasant disputes, of all things. Of all things, peasant disputes. With the poverty we lived in, no wonder it never really sank in that we were of noble blood. Not until I met, met the main family for the first time. They were proud, despite the fact that I now realize that they were too that they were too suffering from our same lack of royal favor. But I could tell the difference. They hadn't given up. Their son was still alive at that time, and even though he was a child half my age, I couldn't believe his confidence. It put us to shame. Absolutely put us to shame. But their son died later that year, and my father died just a few months ago. I didn't know what we were going to do, but mother, mother managed to convince sister's husband to adopt me into the main Kim family. I don't think it took much. Convince sister's husband to adopt me into the main Kim family. Hmm. So now I'm heir, just like that. Kim... Kim... Ja do I pronounce that with a J or is it like a Chung? I, f I forgot. J U N G. J U N G. Alright, it could be. It's probably Chung. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Chung. So, now I'm the heir, just like that. Kim Jung Soo's adopted son. Not that I have the time or position to be proud, but having spoken sincerely with my father, my new father, I think we're on the same page. I'm going to study furiously and I'm going to become a scholar official. What I didn't tell him was my ambition. I won't settle for any peasant jobs. I'll be better than that. I'm not going to stop until I manage to fulfill my father's dream. High Magistrate. I won't settle. I will not settle. I think... 
Chung Su expects me to disappoint him, but I damn well will not. If I'm heir of the Kim family, I'm not going to let him down. He wants prosperity? I'll give it to him. More importantly, I'm never going to let any other Kim son feel like his family doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Never again. I swear on my ancestors. Never again. I have a feeling I'm going to get lost in this game really, really, really quickly with all the different names. Okay. Kim family, air, and and stuff. Oh my god, I'm going to... If I don't play this game for like a couple days at a time, I'm going to forget everything. Absolutely everything. There's so many unread messages. So, I mean, where... What are these messages exactly from? They're obviously about the... Sh they're from the ships, but where am I reading them from? Like, are these just... Is this just a collection of all of the messages on the entire ship? Sent from forever, or, or what? Um, before I keep reading, let me speak with hyun -A. If you look in your interface, uh, once you open a document, you can click on that little button of me to show... Wait, you can click on that little button of me to show me whatever it is. So, which subject do you wish to know more about? Um, well, these are messages, not documents, right? Like, I don't... Does her face show up with... Oh, no, it does. Wait, show message. What is this? Well, I can... S oh, oh. Wow, there's a lot of information in this game. Hmm, well, I suppose I can give you more about Yong Sok. I don't know, I... Don't think you'll really find him very interesting, but here you can see for yourself. Wait. Oh, okay, so it's just taking me back to the message. Okay. I, wa I wonder how many words are written in this game. What do, you, what do you think? Tens of thousands? Hundreds of thousands? There's gotta be so many words in here. And I'm just, I'm just scratching the surface. Alright, so let's go back through this and see if she has anything to tell me. Oh, uh, written by Mute? Whoops, I'm sorry, I don't really know how I got that in there. I was wondering why it was said it was written by you. Wait. Wait, is Mute you? No, wait, no, no, you're AI Hyun A, so who's mute? That's another AI, because it has a star. Who's mute? Yeah, don't pay any attention to that. Sorry, none of that really matters. I'll just go ahead and remove that. Really, I'm not normally this much of a klutz, I swear. Hmm. That was suspicious. All right. What about this one? So here's the background, I suppose. There were two major noble families on the... I'm going to be pronouncing the ship's name a lot. I want to get it right. Magungwa? I mean, there's an H there, so maybe it should be Magunghua. But that's really uncomfortable to say. So I'm going to say Magungwa. The Kims were the big one, as I'm sure you can see. Okay, yeah. Because whoever she was, someone, I don't remember her name, married in or was given to the Kim family to become an heir or something like that. So the Kims are obviously the big ones. The Smiths, the Smiths were the other major family, but I'm afraid I can't, re I can't really tell you very much about them. They were the most important family on the ship until just before the end. The High Magistrate was a Smith until the very last year, even. I can give you a little bit about them for reference, so you can see who the Kim men thought their big enemy was. The Smiths didn't really matter very much at the end, so I can't... well... I don't know much about them. I certainly never met any of them, so I'm just going off what I've read. Here, this should give you an idea of what I mean. Okay, so if, yeah, I've already read that. Okay. 
so I can keep reading new messages. I don't know how many are here because it doesn't show me. Um, I can speak with her, I can use override terminal, whatever that means, and I can access log documents. Let's, uh, let's mess with this and see what the hell this is. Use override terminal, what is this? Oh, it's back to this. Huh. Maybe later on down the line I'll be able to activate mute. Hmm. Alright, well for now, let's go back. Access log documents, what is this? Type the document ID and press enter to search. Well, I don't have any document IDs, but there's also data blocks. What's in here? Okay, so these are either all the ones available or all the ones that I've read from block four. What is helpful notes? Notes of pronunciation, a cliche to remember, Kim family tree. Right, this would just be the help thing for the pronunciation, right? Yes. Actually, wait, can she tell me something about this? Ah, well, even if there's an error stopping me from understanding the words you type, I can tell the packet data header that you're using English. I have no idea how much you know about the Korean language, language but I thought, just in case, you might want some help with how to pronounce names and such. I hope that's sufficient enough. It is pretty good, thank you, Hyunae. Okay. A cliche to remember, what is this? Nam... Namjon Yobi? Men are honored, women are abased. Why is there a question mark in the top right? If you can only remember one thing, remember this phrase. Yeah, I'm starting to see that based on people being traded, given. Okay. Kim family tree. So they are the biggest family. Oh, hi. Um. Chung Su's father. Chung Su. Uh, maybe this would clarify things, but at the moment it only confuses me. Uh, official genealogies, genealogies don't list women normally. What, really? Holy shit. Wives are noted by their family names, and daughters are omitted entirely. These are the relevant parts of what I was able to piece together from records. As far as the official genealogy is concerned, Yong Sook is the heir of Chung Su and was adopted in uh, 317. Names in red are women, means the name is forever unknown. Oh wow. Pale Bride? The hell kind of a name is that? Huh. Right, well, I think my brain's gonna fall out of my head if I keep staring at this. Um, tell me something about this. Shane? That's the end of the Kim family tree, as best as I could possibly manage to compile it. I'm afraid it's the best I could do. Ordinarily, women's names are, aren't are ever put on those genealogies, so I had trouble with those. I hope that helps you keep track of the family, though. I'm sure it will. Maybe. Hold on, I forgot to see if she had anything to remember about, uh, anything to say about this. Really, that's just something you need to keep in mind when reading these logs. It was considered to be the natural way of things. Well, what do you think? What? What do I think about treating women like shit? Um, <laughs> that's stupid. Who the hell would say makes sense? I wonder what the hell that actually does. That's stupid. I know, right? Just absolutely terrible and stupid. But that was normal. So try to keep that in mind. That's what everyone really did believe. Even nearly all of the women. And if that sounds terrible to you, well... You must come from an awfully nicer society. Indeed. 
Okay, so that was helpful things. So wait, can I read messages through here or go through the access log documents and look at the blocks of data? Alright, well, let's just start with block four. Right, read that. Oh, did I read this? Mm, no. Okay, how do you pronounce that? I mean, it's just, is it just O So Jin? O So Jin. O. O. Okay. So Jin, so. Um. I guess it could, it could be Oso oh Chin. Oso, oh uh, whatever. I'm just gonna call them Oso. <laughs> Oso, it sounds nice. And despite having hardly shown their faces in the entire time I have lived in the Smith House, the second branch of the family has taken it upon themselves to visit again, a week after we were forced to endure their smug eye rolling at the funeral. Of course, it would be impolite to turn them all away at the door, no matter how poor taste their timing was. So what other choice did we have but to let them in? Husband wanted to have wanted nothing to do with them, being distracted by Cheng Mi, and mother-in-law had been hiding in her room, leaving it to me to entertain them. Of course, as soon as I had sent their son to go see our daughter, cousin-in-law Kyung Sam made it quite clear that it was not that sort of visit. His wife just sat there, silent, while he ripped into me. I couldn't write down all his words. It was simply one line of abuse after another. Apparently, we were to be blamed for sang Q leaving before they showed up, for wearing the wrong morning garb, for my husband's shocked reaction at his brother's death. In fact, we were to be blamed for his death itself. All he kept shouting about was how embarrassing for the family it was that a noble man of the Smith house had been allowed to drink himself to death. As if the real tragedy was that it looked bad. I might not have felt bad about sang Chung dying, but the rest of the family did. To hear such words making light of their loss was appalling. Yet he kept going, shouting awful thing after awful thing, until finally the most unexpected thing happened. Mother-in-law entered the room. What is going on here? She asked. He stood up. I was just passing on a message to son's, to son's wife about his disgraceful conduct since he won't show his face himself. Then he added, I'm embarrassed to be a smith right now. Do you think people don't know about our family's shame? Do you have any idea how much of a fool I look like? I never saw a more terrifying expression in someone's face. She just glared at him. Finally, she said, Yes, but you clearly do not, or you would have lowered your voice. It took him a moment for that to register. Then he was just shocked. But mother-in-law wasn't done. Please leave, she said. Now. They stared at each other for a good while. Mother-in-law naturally won, and with a scowl, Kyung Sam and his family departed. When they had left, I turned to her. Thank you, I said. But she just shook her head in disgust, in disgust and exited to her own room without another word. Sorry, I don't really think there's anything else about them that you'd find relevant. Fair enough. Okay, so I've read that, I've read that. I think... Oh, no, it actually says new, so I haven't read that. By example, by Smith Kyung... Or, wait, to? For, I don't know if that's to or from. By example, Smith Kyung Sam. I have given up uh, on any attempts at convincing the main branch family to get their act together. As clearly speaking reason to any of that pack of idiots is a fool's errand. Now I can only hope that their self-destruction is quick such that when it's my son's turn to pick up the pieces of the smith's name's reputation, he will be able to do it as soon as possible. He seems far, far less worried about it than I am. Of course, he is only a child, but the boy is mature for his years, and perhaps there is wisdom in his calmness. All we have to do is be better than them, right? He asked me while I was in a rage about the handling of the funeral. Isn't that what gentlemen do? Lead by example. He is right, of course. As a noble family, we're supposed to be an example to the middle classes, and the commoners and the slaves. Perhaps so too must we serve as an example to the family of the High Magistrate and his brother. Perhaps things will not be so doomed for my son after all. It will be hard for him, of course, if the main branch family continues on this path of decay. But if any boy will grow up to be able to put things right, I believe it is him.
Alright, so this is the last new one in the block. And what are these? Are these like corrupted ones or something? They're blank. Here comes the fall. Smith Kyung Sam. Here comes the fall. At least nobody's going to say I didn't see this coming. News that Sang Min has gotten sacked just came in, which is definitely the death of any respectability in this family. Temporary leave, it's been described as, but it's obviously a political move on the part of the Emperor. I think I've got a pretty good idea of what he's playing at, too. He's hoping that making a move against Sang Min will push him over the edge, make him do something indefensibly stupid, and use that as an excuse to shuffle, to shuffle him off for good. It's a good plan. It'll work. Meanwhile, the Kim family seems to be up on the rise, getting ready to fill the gaps left by our collapse. Now it's all up to my son. If he's not able to rebuild after all of this, then the whole family is doomed to permanent decline. Everything rides on him. Oh wait, did I see if she had anything to say? Xiaonei? Uh, it's gray, so I'm assuming that means she doesn't? Sorry, I don't really think there's any- okay. Well, that's everything in block four. I guess block... what's the next one? Block nine? Yeah. Type the document ID and press enter. Hmm. Document one. Didn't work. <laughs> block nine. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's missing data. Corrupted or corrupted or lost or something. Wow, these these are actually years apart, I'm realizing. 316, 319, 321, 322. Oh, is that how it's sorted by age? Let me just check that. I hadn't really paid attention to the dates. 315, 315, 315, 322. Okay, so yeah, earlier to later. Got it. Alright, let's start on block 9. The new heir, Kim Yong Sook. When he died this year, my father... Wait. Oh, uh, I've already read this. Okay, these are new. The new happiness, Yong Sook's wife. Well, yeah. If that's not an indication of how sexist this place was, this society, this culture, whatever the hell you'd call it, I think that's a pretty damn good example. She doesn't even have a name. She is identified as the man's wife. Young Sok's wife. That is really creepy. The new happiness. Dearest mother, finally, I believe Young Sok has grown comfortable with me. All it took was some, was some time for me to earn his trust. Learning how to read by watching over my husband's shoulder isn't how I envisioned spending my first year of marriage. I can't complain about anything that makes me spend so much time with him, though. We've talked and decided we won't try for a son right away. Right now, he's just not ready for it. And that aside, things are good. If this is what married life is like, I think I can be happy with this. We're getting along well, and I like him. Perhaps it's not quite what I was led to expect, but it's still good. Domestic bliss indeed. Last week, Young Sok was reading over some papers for a dispute that Magistrate Park was deciding on. You wouldn't understand the details, but it was essentially an argument between a farmer and his lord over a sum of money after a particularly poor harvest. I think I will tell the magistrate that the farmer is right. His claim is fair, he told me. Might I take a look? I asked. Bemused, he handed the papers to me. It took a good while of studying, just to be sure. After all, I wouldn't want to contradict my husband if he was right. But farmer's numbers didn't... But Farmer's numbers didn't seem to add up. I pointed this out to him. He not only listened patiently, but had me explain. Oh my god. <laughs> but I'll comment after. Then you believe the Farmer is trying to cheat his lord? He asked. I did. 
And that's what I will report, then. The next day, he told me that the Magistrate agreed. And ever since then, he has started to rely on my opinion when it comes to anything involving math. Okay. Well, that's... good. Also, disturbing. She Look, she's, she seems so excited about this. I pointed this out to him. He not only listened patiently, but had me explain. It's like she's ecstatic. My husband actually listened to me and respected something about my mind. And she's happy about that. I mean, it is a good thing, but... The fact that that is an exceptional thing is very disturbing. Like, look! Women can think, too! Oh my god! Amazing! <sighs> anyway. To be totally honest with you, I don't really know what she's talking about here. At all. The math thing wasn't really considered very odd at the time. That's women's work, it's just natural. <laughs> what? Maybe it's a little weird that she's helping with external matters, but well, it's not that weird. M math is women's work? Okay. The part about learning to read isn't that amazing either. It might have been officially frowned upon, but... W what? But learning to read by looking over a brother or husband's shoulder was really, really common. Oh my god. Learn Women learning how to read was officially frowned upon. She's making a big deal out of nothing. Well, I guess that's 15-year-old women for you. Wait, she's... 15? Okay! Wonderful. It gets even better. The new friendship, Kim Yong Sook. While it's true that I might be, as my wife suggests, alarmingly serious, <laughs> it's hard to argue with enjoying a nice meal out if it means cultivating Magistrate Park's trust even more. And just having the invitation alone, alone's a pretty good sign. I assumed we would be going to his house after finishing with the day's affairs, but instead he led the other way. Oh, you do not want to visit there. My son has a newborn child who is very, very uncon unconducive to entertaining guests, I'm afraid. He said with a laugh. Surely you'll understand. Instead, we headed to the plaza. Outside of the occasional New Year's festival, when I was... a child, I had never actually been there before. I never had much of an eye for details at the time, so I was surprised to see now just how richly decorated everything was. For what was essentially a giant market... Beautiful floral arrangements adorned every stall, wall, and partition, and rather than the com commotion of a crowd, all I could hear was the sound of peaceful music. It was still, of course, a market, there were no merchants loudly hawking wares, and some of the prices on the signs I saw would make the Emperor blush. In that atmosphere, we ate together at a public house that defied my expectations. The food was both plentiful and far better than anything I'd... I'd ever had in either of my houses. If this sounds indulgent, it absolutely is, and I definitely don't plan on telling anyone the details like this. The only thing I plan to repeat from this evening is what the Magistrate confided in me, that when he was moved from his position, he'd like, he'd like to recommend me to fill his place. I'd be young for the position, but it would be a great stepping stone to the one I'm dreaming of. I remained calm, since I'm good at that, but it's the best news I've heard in my life. The plaza sounds like a really interesting place, doesn't it? I mean, I wouldn't really know personally. But as I understand it, it was the big place for celebrating festivals, and really surprising to see. You'd leave one of the few tiny modern stark white corridors that led to it, and then suddenly there was this huge open space filled with all sorts of colorful signs and vendors. I think proper gentlemen were supposed to be more modest though, so they wouldn't really want to associate with that sort of thing too openly. The new magistrate, Young Sok's wife. Actually, wait, hold on. In this message, she was 15 years old. That was in uh, 319. This is three years after, so she should be 16, 17, 18. 
so she should be about 18 years old. Young Sok's wife, dearest mother, if you haven't already heard the good news, my husband has been appointed by the emperor to the position of magistrate. Okay, so this is years after, and it's now happened. He's taken over the office from Magistrate Park starting today, which is just tremendous for a man his age. I have no doubt that he was perfectly humble when he got the news, since he certainly has been when talking about it in front of father-in-law. In private, though, it's another story. Earlier, the family held a small feast to celebrate the news, and he had that same attitude then, too, but afterwards when everyone else had gone or le left or gone to bed. We stayed up to sit together drinking wine, and it was a whole lot more somber. He wasn't modest, but he wasn't boastful, either. He, he was just outright insecure. He might not say it in front of you, but you know what? He said to me, as I poured him more wine. He takes all the credit for my promotion. According to him, it's all because of the Emperor's perfect new bride, which is, of course, all because of him. I said quietly. I don't want to take credit for her. I wasn't the one who got her to shut up. That was... that was all him. I don't like discussing it, and please, Mother, don't ever ask me why. Wait, what? I think I misread that. According to him, it's all because of... Wait... I... There's something very confusing about this. Hold on. Okay, look, this is... This is Yong Sok talking. He might not say it in front of you, but you know what? He said to me as I poured him more wine, and this is Yong Sok continuing to talk. He takes all the credit for my promotion. My promotion, this is him talking. According to him, it's all because of the Emperor's perfect new bride. Which, of course... Which is, of course, all because of him. I said quietly... Okay, so she said the next sentence, not the previous one. I said, quietly, I don't want to take credit for her. I wasn't the one who got her to shut up. That was... that was all him. I don't like discussing it, and please, Mother, don't ever ask me why. Hmm. Doesn't matter, he said. That's not why I got promoted. I got promoted because Magistrate, I mean, now, hi, Magistrate, Park and I managed to make Smith look so bad, he had to get shuffled off. It's exposing the whoring and thuggery that did it, not the damned pale bride, he said with annoyance. Well, that's how he is. You know he'll never give you credit for anything, I said. He replied, I know. Whoops. I know, I just wish he did not acknowledge it. I just don't know how he can be so stupid as to not be proud of me, you know? I know, I said, but let's not focus on that right now. I think we should focus on the good right now. How about we toast to your success instead? Here's to the new magistrate, Kim. I raised my glass and drank. He betrayed the faintest of smiles, but he didn't share my toast, and instead put down his glass. For a moment, I was worried, but then he used... He used that hand to grab my chin instead, and for the first time ever, kissed me on the mouth. Far sweeter than any wine, he said to me. I wasn't sure if he meant the kiss or the success, but I agreed either way. That was... They've been together for years, and that was the first time he's ever kissed her on the mouth? Okay, that's strange. Well, as you'll see soon enough, it all seems to come back to the Pale Bride. Yeah, what is up with this Pale Bride? I don't think Kim chung Su ever thought very much of his adopted son, or at least neither he nor his wife thought so. Hmm. You want to know what I think, though? <laughs> Who the hell would say no? Like, yeah, do please don't give me more information to work with. How about yes? I think they're both really dumb. I mean, it's not like she ever did anything. It's not her fault. She just happened to be there and was married as a political gesture. That actually makes sense, given that women seem to be traded around like currency. What kind of person projects their insecurities onto someone who only ever just got pushed around? Sorry, I'm guessing I, I'm... 
I guess I'm getting a little bit off track here. That's not really very helpful, is it? Actually, it is. Aha, well, anyway, getting back on track here. Okay, block 10 is the only one left. What have we got here? Oh, just the one? Marital Admonitions Part 7. Par <laughs> part 7. Um, are these the previous seven parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? Well, it, it could hold it. R oh, fuck. Rude. Chehua? Hold on. I want to get this right, or at least close. R Ryu? Is it Ru or Ryu? It's probably Ryu. Ryu Chue Hua. Ch che. Che Hua. Ryu Che Hua. Rai. Oops. Wrong one. Ryu. Nothing there for that. Che. J E Hua. I'm gonna go with Che. H W A. H H H H H H. No, nothing there for that. Okay, I think it's, I think it's Ryu Che Che Hua. To the women, oh, to, uh, to the woman who will marry my husband. But please do not think that all of this is meant to say you will be unloved. You may be a second wife. Oh, okay, so they have multiple wives. Uh, but you are still the daughter of a noble house, and that is a precious gift to the Ryu family. My husband has faith that you will bring him a son, and this means all the world to him. Nor am I jealous, for you will relieve a heavy burden on our house, and for that I am grateful. As proof of his affection for you, let me share with you one secret, which I have been permitted to tell only you. In honor of you, my husband. In honor of you, my husband, in his capacity as captain and emperor, has permanently changed his admin password to your birth name. You don't say! My new sister, you will be brought into the Ryu family not as a mere lowly woman, but a symbol of power in the inner chambers. You will not only represent the continuation of the Ryu bloodline by providing him a son, but your very name will represent the power of the captain's computer. Understand this, Pale Bride. Your duty may be great, but you will be loved. Okay, so the Pale Bride was a second wife and was supposed to provide someone with a son. And her birth name, right? Yes, your birth name. And unfortunately, Pale Bride is definitely not her birth name. So I need to find it. Hmm. All right, she's obviously trying to message me, but let me see what she says about this first. Ah, of course. The last person to hold the titles Captain and Emperor on the ship was Ryu... Inho? Which of Captain Ryu's wives do you wish to know more about? Well, definitely the Pale Bride, because I need her birth name. Very well. She wrote a lot, so this is going to be tricky to filter. I guess I'll just start at the top, I'll let you... and I'll let you figure out what's important. Okay, well, I've already read that. Tell me about the other one. Che Hua. Very well. I don't have much on her that I think you would find relevant, though. Let's see. Here, how about this? That's just back to the message. Okay. Well, let's do this and see what she's messaging me about, then. Hey. Hey. I just wanted to say, thanks for paying attention to me. No problem. You know, I sure hope that this AI hasn't gone crazy. Due to a lack of stimulating conversation or interaction of any sort. Um, hopefully, this is not a type of AI that is simulated in a human way enough to actually become crazy. I mean, she doesn't seem crazy. It's like I was saying earlier, I just haven't had anyone to talk to in so long. 
The last time there was anyone around on the ship was the year 322. By my count, it's now 944. I mean, do you have any idea how long that is? That is an unimaginable, unimaginably long time to be alone. It wasn't really so. It wasn't really so bad at first. It was nice to not have to worry about anyone telling me what to do. I could just occupy myself, go through the old logs. But well, I read quickly. After the first few years, it really started to sink in the loneliness. Eventually, you sort of get used to it. It feels awful. You never like it, but you get used to it in ways that sort of scare you. And there was a whole hundred years that went by where I didn't have a single thought. Not a one. I just sat there idle. I didn't even notice, just... I had been feeling particularly... Uh, what's the word? Sleepy, I want to say, but that's not right. Uh, hmm. I guess maybe that doesn't translate. Anyway, the point is, I was in a lazy mood, and I, deci I decided to call my clock subroutine, and it turned out it had been 3 trillion milliseconds since the last time I'd called I'd called it. Scary. 3 trillion milliseconds. Ah, ah, uh, jeez, I'm rambling. Sorry, as you can understand, my perception of, perception of time is all off. Sorry, sorry, I'll shut up. But my point is, I'm really happy to have someone out there. Okay, so I think I now need to know the Pale Bride's family name. So, um, yeah. Wait a minute, hold on. Why are there unread messages? Didn't I look at all of the access logs? Wait, now there's, there's new ones? When did that happen? I don't understand what's happening. Why are new blocks being discovered? What's happening to make that happen? Hmm. Anyway, the month of good fortune. Kim jung -soo. Or chung -soo. The second month of the 319th year was one of great fortune for the Kim family. While on official business, the captain and emperor Ryu confided in me that he wished that I had a daughter of marriage age to give him to take as a second wife. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the Pale Bride? To take as a second wife. His first wife had been unable to provide a son. Okay, that is definitely the Pale Bride, because the Pale Bride was a second wife and was needed for a son. So, wait a minute. The captain... Uh, that he wished that I had a daughter of marriage. So this is who it's from, right? Kim... Uh, Chung Su. So let me write that down because that is probably the family name, right? Chung Su. Kim Chung Su. Got it. I don't know where I'm going to enter that, but I have it. At the start of the month, I had no daughter in my family to give. My only son, Yong Sook, was still without child. Yet, it was a perfect opportunity. This may sound fantastical, but I swear it is true passed on through the generations of the main branch of the Kim family is a giant egg of translucent luster such that one can see the form of a sleeping child inside. She is known as the Pale Bride for the inscription on the egg, and she was entrusted to our family to be awakened during a time of great prosperity. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Hold on. A giant egg of translucent luster, and there's a sleeping child inside that was woken up. What? Okay. She says, This may sound fantastical. Indeed it does. It sounds like something out of a fantasy. Anyway, she is known as the Pale Bride for the inscription on the egg, and she was entrusted to our family to be awakened during a time of great prosperity. Yet, as any man knows, prosperity is seized, not waited on. A daughter, to provide the Emperor with a son, would elevate the family above the other noble house once and for all. 
Considering this, I promised the Emperor that I did have a daughter who would soon be of marriage age to present him. Then I smashed the egg, such that the Pale Bride passed through the Kim family for years, could be adopted as my own daughter. She is a strange child, but will make a fine wife for the Emperor. What good fortune this means. Right, so your daughter came from a gigantic, translucent egg that you cracked. Okay. Any opinions on this, Hyunae? I'm afraid nearly everything the man wrote was of very little value. It all reads like that. Boring, stiff, obnoxiously patriarchal. Are you sure you really want more from Kim chung Su? Sure. If you insist. Very well, I've added the other relevant entries from him. I'll caution you from taking him seriously, though. Hmm. Broken Promise, The Pale Bride. Oh, so this is from The Pale Bride. Okay. And Dear Diary, last week I woke up from... <laughs> Last week, I woke up from cryostasis. That is such a great beginning to your diary, huh? Last week, I woke up from cryostasis out of a giant translucent egg. Yep. Before I went in, Father promised me that when I woke up in the future, they'd have medicine again. That I'd finally get better. That might, uh, that I might not see him again, but his descendants would make everything right. But the future broke his promise. I'm scared and confused, and I don't get what happened. I think there was a big disaster while I was in stasis or something. Everyone's so uneducated and stupid. Father and mother were kind of dumb at times, but the guy who woke me up, he might be named Kim, but he's nothing like them. Father was wrong. Nothing's better. The future sucks. So, father promised me when I woke up in the future they'd have medicine again. Okay, so she was put in cryostasis because she had something wrong with her that they couldn't cure. Hmm. Okay, well actually on that note I think I'm going to end this episode. Uh can I save? Do I have do I have to save? D does it automatically save? Um, what do these buttons do? Okay, wait, what? These are save files, but there's nothing in them. This allows me to go to the main menu and exit. Res wait, what? Did I just fuck myself? There's no... There's nothing to load because I didn't save. How do I? How the fuck do I save? I don't want new. I'm confused. What? Okay, well that's a soured note to end on. Um, yeah. Anyway, if I did actually fuck that up, then I'll just go through and read. You know, read all of the text. In other words, skip through it. And it shouldn't take me more than a couple, like, five minutes, maybe, if I do need to. I don't know where I went wrong. But anyway, I think I'm going to play this game for probably single episodes at a time. Because if I go for a really long time, my voice is going to be completely wrecked. Because this is just constant talking. So I need to rest my voice. It's okay, voice. You can calm down. I won't abuse you anymore. And yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. I hope you are too, and I will be back soon.